Today we're gonna to be diving on a truck that may have been stolen from a police officer. Let's go find out. So we are back out here in Knoxville, eh? Man, this river looks pristine. It looks amazing. But I think today's video is gonna be amazing. Just we're amazing. looking for a uh, cop's stolen truck. Well, we found a truck already. Yeah. And the word is, it could be a copper's. Yeah, play the clip. We never think to think of something in the water. Yeah, there's another one too farther down. We were telling him. There's so many out here. It's ridiculous. <laughs> wow. You found an 07 Silverado. I had my truck stolen a couple years ago. So. Okay, <laughs> we'll keep an eye out. <laughs> so, like you heard, it's a 07 Silverado. And he said a few years ago he got it stolen. And we know where a truck is conveniently we haven't dove on yet no well, and it's in a very sketchy spot under this bridge on the other side so so <laughs> you're we're gonna dive on this thing I guess and with any luck maybe we'll find this guy's uh truck i'm gonna have to pull out all of my cunning because this river is like zero viz in a strong current it looks like yeah we've dove it enough now i think it'll be all right i mean i'm not nervous i'm just saying like it's definitely nervous. a lot browner than usual let's get the boat out here find this thing again and then dive on it all right jeremy's getting suited up right now because it's your turn to dive and i love diving yep i haven't given up <laughs> Uh, but on a real note, we don't know if this truck is the officer's. We're just kind of going off that hunch because we do know about that case. This very well, well could be a missing persons, you know, that we don't know about. True. Um, that's always a possibility in what we're doing. But we're also clearing spots. Now, I'm curious if the dive team that was out here before that we met, because they were searching for vehicles. I wonder if they saw that one because we had trouble finding it. I don't know. They never really mentioned it. They mentioned one, I think, up here. Or I think they may have known about the old one that we dove. Well, we got, they never dove on it. We got the plate. Oh. And yeah, maybe they just found them, but I don't know. Get some shots with the drone here. You got your sonar running there. Right? Battery level is low. The aircraft right. will go to the home point in 10 seconds. We gotta land it. <laughs> you gonna land in 10 seconds? Maybe. That's how professionals do it. Call it. You'll, you'll learn one day. Is he right in the middle? No, we went right over something. Oh, oh yeah. That looks... Well, you gotta break, break out the live, man. I'm trying to find that truck. Here's the truck. Maybe that's a truck. That's like a that looks like a damn limo. <laughs> limo? I think it was huge. You see that? I mean that's gotta be the truck, but man, the roof looks long as hell on that thing. No, that's just that's the truck bed in the back. I know, but look how long the top is. I wonder if like that's just the you're not seeing the slant. The only slant I see is Is it a stretched limo truck? <laughs> it's a straight man, we found a, a, a limo hummer. So we've been here a lot before, but there's like a, there's a spot right there people park. It's a complete open area. It's kind of like a perfect spot to dump a vehicle if you're going to. It's gonna be a challenge to get a magnet on this thing. I mean, there's, a bunch that? Of, there's a bunch of crap down there. This isn't where the truck is at. The truck's a little bit over there, but there's other shit I saw right here. So I was like trying to see if I could find a wheel or something. Yeah, that's a tree. Oh, this really sharp line right there. That looks like a tree to me, you know? Yeah. There she is. There's the truck. What the hell was it? Like, we just went right over it. Does that look like a 07, what did I say, Chevy? Hell just yet. All right, so we're gonna hit a magnet on it. Give us a nice little line down to it. And we'll clear this one and head down river. Chevy, so he said it was a Chevy. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Was it full size or was it like a, an S10 or something? <laughs> yeah, that's all he said, man. You heard the clip. This kind of looks like to me a uh, compact. Could be like a Ranger or something. 
Yeah, I'm on it. That's it, throw it out. It doesn't feel really... Eh, should be good now. You're on it, throw it out. Yeah, you're gonna have to drop me off, like... Help her. You got your fins? Yeah. And... All right, we got it marked. I'm gonna dive this truck, see what it is. I'm gonna cruise up here really quick. Two birds, one stone. I'm really curious if that was an upside down car. Or to look like a wheel now the problem is everything i see is going to make me think it's a car because her car is so weird looking oh yeah so like her, it's not going to look like a car some of these rocks is that what you were looking at that might have been what i was looking at all right man so you're gonna do all the normal things check the windows and see if there's a tank I don't know, I manage to forget something every time. Yeah. I'll go for the tag. Well. And I'll check the windows. See if it's Chevy. I don't know the color or not, but uh, maybe it'll be full of like his uniforms and guns and stuff. Sweet. It is rolling. Jeremy just got in the water. Just dropped in right there. There's a bit of a current here. But we're kind of used to the current at this point. And having this boat is a huge help because it has the front platform. We're just gonna sit here and wait and see uh see what the verdict is. Okay, I made it. Woo! I'm catching. Woo! Uh, oh, that was such a workout. Current bad? So bad. When I got down there, actually I actually had to sit for like a good five minutes, just like, <laughs> I'm about to pass out. The mask is actually really cool. Is it? Yeah, I didn't, I mean, it's different, but it was, uh, I don't know, I got no gripes. The only thing I didn't like was it fogs up when you're breathing outside air. Yeah. All right. 910ZDR. Did it have a tag you couldn't get it off? Yeah, it was crusted on there. It just falling apart when I tried to pull it off. 910 what? ZDR. Okay. And it is a blue maybe like a purpley bluish looking thing chevy s10 not a silverado i don't think so because i i didn't actually confirm s10 but i confirmed chevrolet i mean i think it's called it's, it's pretty small yeah didn't he say red i think he said red he didn't say a color he just said 07 silverado well, this thing <laughs> this thing expired 98 Okay. Probably not his. Yeah, I don't think it's him. Oh for one. 
blue Chevy, suspecting S10, expired 98. So, not our cop truck, but it was a Chevy. Yeah. So, they don't get too comfortable. You got another one to dive. Yeah, but it'll be like a couple hours. A couple hours? Yeah. Get down there, get ready, you know, like crap. Like 30 minutes. Let's go get this uh, magnet off and then head down river. There's so much junk floating around in the water. Make sure there ain't nothing in that barrel. Looks factory sealed. What do you think's in it? Oh, it's like a oil barrel? Yeah, it's, it's one of those ones without a top on it. Yeah, it's just chemicals. Car wash detergent is what it says on it. Deter I'm sure that's good for the environment. Yeah. There's so much crap up to these storms come through here. We're on the way back. I'm sure we'll see it on the way back. We'll grab it. We so here. much logs. Yeah, we'll try to keep back to it on the way back, but... Yeah. Alright, we just got down farther where we located this vehicle months ago. And, uh... It's right down here where we pulled out... What was the car we pulled out? A Volvo. A Volvo. very and old Volvo. The other side is another boat ramp. We pulled out a Volkswagen Golf. But we don't know what this other mystery car is. And I think with the live, we'll get a better idea this time. We know it's upside down. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Well, we are scanning this once again. The boat ramp's right up here. They might have something new out here. You just don't know. You never know, yeah. All right, so the other car, here's the boat ramp. The other car should be, that's that weird frame thing we saw. I thought we ripped time. that thing all the hell. I don't think we completely, I guess we didn't. Scan that. Well, that's the boat ramp, so it's yeah. right on the side. Okay. That's what we were getting hung up on before. I'm going to go with that's it. Upside down, tires, what do you think? Probably. Probably. Well, let's spin this baby around. Also gets really sandbar-y over there. That's probably right there. Think so? Right here. It's We're right on top of it. That is it? Yeah, like you see the wheels upside down. It's flat. We know it's skin is upside down, probably a car. I mean, yeah. if you if you see a red, reddish car, it could be the Celica we're looking for. Yeah, if it's red, that's gonna be a. I might, I might freak out a little bit. Well. Wow. Oh yeah, we just marked it with the buoy. Really difficult. There's a lot more current today than last time. But yeah, we already pulled, like I said, that one car. If you hadn't seen it on Wrecked and Recovered, it was, was it Volvo? Yes. I think you don't remember that. I don't know. We pulled so many cars out at this point, but now we're, uh, we're gonna pull the boat up there and Jeremy's gonna drift down and go under. See if we can find a plate or something. All right, gearing up once again. Jeremy is diving this car. And this one is very interesting because there is a missing person, Regina Robinson, we've been searching for. And this is kind of close to an area that she may have been in or lived at her friend's house. And uh, I don't know, it's very suspect that there's a car that's upside down. So, you know, if we could find her and bring some answers to the family, that'd be amazing. But you just never know until you dive. And uh, there's so many, there's just so many cars out here. It's so he's about to get in the water. It's definitely a lot more current over here and a lot of hazards, logs floating through the water. So we gotta be careful of that but it should be fairly quick and yeah, we'll know for sure. And I think we'll be able to pull this one out if it's not too old. Try to go for a plate. 
I don't know if it's worth going down again if your mask flooded. I don't know, dude. I'll be in my first dive was great. This one, dude, I don't know. It's, it's not used to that damn mask. I don't know why. I don't know what was going on. It's just not tight enough. I was trying to tighten it underwater. Like, see this one? That one's not even yeah, tight. That, it's harder to tighten on your own that, than the OTS yeah. stuff. So, that wasn't fun. We know it's not her though, so I'm not, I'm not, I'm confident it's not a Toyota. Yeah. Other than that, I need my OTS mask back. <laughs> that scared me. And that was a hard, man, this current sucks. Is the magnet on good? Yeah, that's the only reason I made it to it. Cause like I was hooked. Are we gonna be able to get the magnet off? I have no idea. <laughs> Hope so. So irritated though. I don't know what it is. I mean, I got down there. It's like you get so out of breath and you just can't get enough breath in these masks. Yeah. That made me nervous. So you just got out and you had some issues with your mask, but you did confirm it's a Mazda, right? I did. I, when I finally made it to the car, it, got, it, went, it was right at the tire. So, and I saw the little, the little V looking symbol. Yeah. And uh, so I know it's a Mazda. I didn't see a color, but I also saw rotting holes all over it. So this thing's been down there many, many moons. Yeah. Well, we'll go check that other boat ramp that we did before in case there's anything new. Um, the current's better over there if there's a car, a new car. It'd be new. It wouldn't be Regina's unless we missed one before. But I mean, we also haven't checked farther past this point. So we can do that and then uh, keep we, going from there. We can cruise. Oh, man, yeah, it's, it's rough out in the channel. Just came across this boat, which looks abandoned, but it looks, also looks like it's been tied up by somebody. I don't know. Weird, weird looking hull. It's like an older boat, but like a newer motor. Yeah, it's an interesting hull. It's like a, a racing or something. But the sticker on the side, it looks like 93 was the year it expired. I don't know. We had to hit it. Yeah, it's an older boat. It's got some water in there, though. There's no key. Huh? I don't know, man. Key in it? No. It's got some water in the back, though. All right, so we made it down to the end of this park, and there is, like, a parking lot over here. It might be a bit of a stretch for a car to have gone in, but, you know, we're still going to check it and go down a little ways. And then there's, like, another park around the bend I believe so we'll check this whole area and see if we find anything but it's looking clear right now yeah, clear. all right we just went all the way down to this part there's a big park over here and then we kind of in the cove but it's like really shallow a couple feet oh yeah it's two feet right here two feet and then, uh, I mean there's it's only things sticking out yeah. there's a bridge right here I was curious about you know a car could technically go off so maybe we'll just go there if we can and turn around because I mean, there's logs and dirt. I mean, we might even get stuck here. It's pretty treacherous. All right, we're at the bridge here. I, this might just go to this plant though, that's next to the park. I don't know if this is a public bridge. Also, it's super shallow. Yeah, this, ever since we turned in, it's like three, three feet. Seen feet. Any, any cars? No, I have not anything. seen any cars. There was that one thing back there though you saw, right? No. Well, at, at, in the main channel, yeah. Yeah, I guess I'll spin around and we'll go over there and take a last look, but that might be it for this video. Might be. Might we, not be. We can give the police a call on that plate. All right, we just got back to the boat ramp. A long day of searching. Uh, Jeremy did the diving today, and we, unfortunately, we were not able to find that cop's missing truck. We found a different Chevrolet, though, so that's interesting. And uh, I don't know if anybody knew about that one, but... Well, it had the tag on it, so I don't know. The tag was like oh, yeah, you got the, yeah, you, welded on there essentially. Yeah, that's why I didn't get it, but it did have a tag number. Yeah, so uh, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna talk to the police tomorrow, which I guess y'all might have already seen, and we'll find out more. But I'm basically ending this video, <laughs> and I appreciate y'all watching, subscribing, all the good stuff. Check out Explore with Nug if you want to. And uh, it's a beautiful day. I can't wait for the weather to start warming up because we're gonna we're gonna we got a lot of trips planned and a lot more people to go searching for. So thanks for all the support, guys. We'll see y'all the next one. You good to go. Shit. Were they uh, were they stolen? Were they stolen? Uh, I didn't get any of them that stolen. Uh, we only got one up and pull up. We'll have 
have uh, County go check it out. Okay, appreciate it. He said none of them came back stolen, only one of them uh, came up on his records, but I guess it wasn't stolen. Huh. But the county's gonna check it out. A mystery. It is a mystery.